Hello, for the newcomers among us, what is a branch? I mean, you maybe heard of a branch, you heard of pull, you heard of push, you heard of commit, you heard of merge, all this stuff, and then you saw this git graph, and where the master branch goes into the develop branch, and then you have a feature branch, and then everything goes back together, and then a different person also took a branch, and branch, and branch, and branch. And you, you heard this word, and you kind of, you, you can use it, but you, you don't have a feeling of what, what, what it actually is, and I try, uh, without using technical terms, to explain uh, to give you an image in your head what, what a branch is. Uh, for that purpose, let's throw away all that computer stuff and think about paper. We have paper now. Uh, think about you are writing a book. Okay. You are writing a book and you, I'm just writing, I'm just drawing this one page. Oh, let's make two pages. You're writing a book with two pages, not so many pages. And you want to publish it. So you want to go to a company, to a publishing company. And what you do is, um, Imagine we don't have any computers, uh, copying is very expensive. So what you do is actually you, you bring the paper, you bring the paper over to the company. And what the company does is it checks the paper and then says, well, okay, we can sell it and start selling that to customers, to little customers. Yes. And then one day you realize, well, ah, I actually want to, I want to change this part and I want to change this part. So, so what you're going to do is uh, you, you walk over to the, to the company and say, well, I, I want to change this right now. And, and and what, let me let me get a brush. Let me get a brush. I want to change this right now. And what happens is like you're in the middle of a sentence, and the company says, "Well, no, we we need more copies for the customers." And the company takes a copy to the customer with a sentence that's half finished. And well, the com the, the customer gets a sentence that's half finished, which sucks. So you don't, of course, do that. So let's reverse that. So what you instead do is you go to the company and say, "Well." Um, can I have one copy to, to make my changes? And the company says, well, of course, yeah, of course you can do that. So what you do is you take a, what you take a copy, cha -ching, you take a copy home and you do your changes, right? You, you say, oh, we, we have to change the sentence a little. We have to, yeah, we have to throw away this stuff and maybe, maybe we, we, we have a new title in here. And well, you, you reread it. You, you, you do all the stuff that you need. And at some point, oh, well, let's, by the way, let's make here. First, you brought it over to the company and then you took a copy from the company and then you do your changes. This is a timeline. And then when you're finished with your changes and you're really sure, well, this is what I want to have published. What is happening is you bring it back to the company and you actually bring it back to the company. Whoop. So, okay, I'm copying this right now, but think of it as uh, you actually bring the real paper so you don't have a copy anymore. You bring it to the company and the company might ask questions like, hmm, you removed this sentence, why? And you say, well, that's because the sentence was not good. And then the company says, well, that's all right. And we like the new book as well. And we make a second edition and we sell it as well. So they keep the copy, they keep copying these pages to sell them to the customers. So imagine really like uh, every, every arrow here is means that the company took all the pages, took a copy of all the pages and gave it to the customer. And this is exactly what branching means. Let's emphasize that what is here at the company's location is always a finished version, okay? This is always a finished version. This is an unfinished version, like you're writing right now, right? If you're in the middle of a sentence, you can't say, well, I'll publish this because the sentence finishes here, right? You cannot publish a, a book with, with an unfinished sentence, right? So you first have to finish all the writing, right? And then bring it to the company. That's like, that's clear, right? No, no one would, would say, go to the company with like, with like a page uh, and say, well, I want to write a book. And you write like two lines and say, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to write the rest, right? No, you don't do that, right? You finish it first. And when you bring it to the company for publishing, it's basically finished. Of course, they do some fixes, but let's, uh, don't think about that. You, you bring to the company a finished book. And when like here, you want to make your changes, then you copy, you, you need a copy of what the company actually currently has and make your changes here. And when your changes are done, you bring it back to the company. If you want to get a little bit more technical here, we could say that this thing, let's, let's, let's say this timeline here, this timeline, you could say that this could be the master branch. The master branch could be the one that that's the perfect branch. Like everything that's in the master branch is, is finished, right? So we have version one here and we have version, let's say this is version two here. And whatever is in the master branch can be copied and sold to the customers. And on the other hand, this is the developed branch, right? 
So you're you're doing stuff, you're trying stuff out. Maybe maybe you're making sentences wrong. Maybe you're you're making mistakes, right? Uh, so you wanna you wanna reiterate. You you write something and you figure out well that that sucks. I want to try again, right? You cannot do this in the master branch because the master branch keeps getting copied by the customers, for the customers or for the customers. So in here you do all your work and when you're finished you put it to the master branch. And we we, we don't need to stop here, right? What we could do is like we could say. Uh, Maybe you have a friend, right? Maybe you have a friend and your friend is also wants to help you and say, well, well, I don't have so much time, but well, in your, in your book, I can, I can fix the pages 25 to 50. Uh, and, uh, you know, when I'm done with my changes, I, I don't, I don't know anything about the company, right? I, I don't want to, I don't want to disturb uh, your business with the company. So uh, when I finished with my stuff, I just give it back to you, right? Just give it back to you and you, you, you mix it up, right? You, you take my 25 pages here and mix it with the rest of the book. And then when you did all your stuff, then you can bring it back to the company. And you could say, well, this could be another branch. This could be your friend's branch. It's a very bad name for a branch, but it could be your friend's branch. And this is basically what's happening when we talk about branching in uh, computer development, in, in software development. It's pretty natural for any given document, for any given anything that you that you have, that you at a certain point maybe take copy and try something, make a copy and try something. Maybe it's getting better, maybe it's getting worse, and maybe, maybe you really suck, right? Maybe maybe whatever you did here, well you you scrambled all the maybe the coffee came there. There's a oh look oh hell oh no there's a big coffee stain on the paper. So what you need is you have to start again, but no problem because the company has a copy uh, or the original. Uh, so what you can actually do is just yeah well I just I just copy again and start over again right no problem no problem because this is always working here right and after you have the finished process here you give it back here so everything that comes later here when you 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 can take as much copies as you want and every copy is perfect right and when you have a finished version again you can just put it back there and give it back to the publisher and the publisher will publish it for you I hope this made things a little bit more clear. If not, leave me a comment in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.